Shoreham, but more importantly, the co-chair of the new party parliamentary group for WASPI. Now, I'm speaking the day after we had the fantastic sight of no fewer than 90 petitions being presented one after one in the House of Commons last night from MPs on all sides, all of them with signatures signed up and down the country, including from my own um, constituency, united in the cause of WASPI um, women. I haven't seen a sight like that for some uh, time and the impact of it was considerable and I'm particularly pleased obviously on my own side the number of Conservative MPs there were as well who stood up and presented their petitions and are becoming active supporters of their local WASPI um, group. So the cause is absolutely alive and strong at Westminster. Frustrating though it is, I know how long it's taking to get the government to actually take some action on this. It was always going to be a long slow burn this I'm afraid. I've never made any uh, pretense of, uh, of that but the strength of the cause is growing. More and more MPs are coming to see me and other officers of the All Party group to say they're sympathetic and what can they do to help. The problem is that we need the government to actually get round the table and start talking and we've had some disappointing statements from Richard Harrington, the new Pensions Minister, and he did again today at Prime Minister's present time. The Prime Minister was challenged over this and didn't appear to give any uh, chink of light. But we all know this is a problem that is not going to go away. It affects many hundreds of thousands and millions of women, some of them in very difficult circumstances that are not going to get any better. And it's a problem that has got to be dealt with. So I just wanted to give an update and to add my uh, encouragement. Now the All-Party Parliamentary Group, which was formed earlier in the year, has a very strong following. It has a good number of officers, again from all parties. We met a couple of weeks ago to coordinate the big petition handing in um, last night. Uh, we will very soon have a website up and running on which we'll post all the um, latest uh, news, including the, the mission statement of what the All-Party Group is there to do. But I have to say, and I've said that said this in all my podcasts and time and time again, that at the end of the day, what we need is to be able to put forward a series of detailed and costed options with some evidence that we can carry a large number of the women affected with us. And all the time we don't have that, I'm afraid it just plays into the government's hands when they say, well, if they can't agree amongst themselves what they actually uh, want, then we're not going to put forward proposals because they will just be cast out of hand by uh, a majority of uh, what's been affected, for example. So it's really important that we are able to come up with some firm proposals. Now, a whole load of people have come up with suggestions, which is useful. The 63 is the new uh, 60 scheme. The SNP have done some study on this. There's suggestions that the uh, National Insurance Fund, which holds something like £58 billion pounds at the moment, could be used to help fund traditional arrangements, um, etc, etc. But there's also a problem, I have to say, that I know I'm aware there's been some, some fragmentation uh, and some friction between various different people involved in the WASPI campaign. I'm afraid this isn't helpful. We need, above all, a united voice amongst the people affected uh, by the pension changes, the people running the WASPI uh, campaign and parliamentarians um, as well. So I really would urge everybody, let's have none of this nonsense about people being frozen out of social media and uh, websites. We are all on the same side. We need to agree exactly what the bench will ask for, but the principle that we need to right this injustice that too many women are having to go through these changes without proper, if any, notification. Um, and any opportunity to do anything um, about it. We are all surely agreed on uh, that. Now, we will be seeing Damien Green, who is the new Secretary of State for DWP, uh, later on uh, this month. We've agreed that we will have a delegation of about six officers from the All-Party Parliamentary Group, representing all of the uh, political parties who are part of the All-Party All Group. I'll be representing the Conservative uh, members uh, there and I will make the case strongly to uh, Damien as I did to uh, his predecessor ministers uh, as, uh, as well. 
So there is a lot going on. Please do not give up hope. This is going to take time. It's frustrating despite the huge number, unprecedented number of debates we've had in this uh, House, despite the extraordinary impact of all those petition and the hard work that's going on day in, day out, week in, week out in the country for people arranging these local groups, organising petitions, uh, getting stuff in the local press, communicating the, uh, the cause. This can only happen if the government agrees to make changes. The government is bringing in a pension bill which will detail, deal with details around private pensions um, in particular, but that may be an opportunity for us to try and amend legislation and see if we've got the votes, which I think we have in Parliament, to be able to force through changes. But Ponager legislation is a very strange um, animal, but we will be exploring every possible opportunity to bring about legislative changes where the government can at last be persuaded however much we need to push them, that this injustice has got to be righted at last, is not going to go away, WASP is not going to go uh, away. So I'm just really grateful for all the huge effort that's been going on up and down the, uh, the country. We stand with you in this place, shoulder to shoulder. We will um, get there. You can absolutely be assured of my continued uh, support. As I said last night, I am a Spartacus because I'm one amongst many who share your and will continue to be part of your campaign. So keep part, we will get there eventually.